Can you tell me why the pilot training for the manager's hate crime that West Yorkshire Police kindly delivered for us appealed to you? Yeah, I, I think um, one of the, the biggest appeals was that um, some of the people I support have shared things that have happened to them in the past and I've completed an incident report um, and tried to flag up various safeguarding issues that, that may or may not be present but it wasn't always very clear what, what that safeguarding issue was uh, and now with the introduction of hate crime training and my understanding of it in a, in a much broader sense um, I feel more equipped to be able to support our individuals to report and um, to take further action. So how did you prepare for the focus group that you set up? I asked all your families whether they felt that it might be something that would benefit you to come along to the focus group. Yeah. Uh, they said that it would and some, some of the families gave me examples of things that had happened in the past. Um, and then I spoke to you as individuals to see if you'd like to come along and have a chat yeah. um, about hate crime and what to do and who to tell and what a hate crime might look like. Would you have been able to have the skills and knowledge to have delivered the focus group to the people with support having not had that two and a half hours manager's training knowledge? Well, no, I think because it's such an important um, issue I would, I would want to feel informed and educated enough to, to feel qualified enough to do the training in the first place. Um, so I wouldn't have been comfortable going ahead and doing a focus group without that, that training. The idea of the resource pack and giving staff the knowledge around hate crime is about actually being able to advocate for people and empower people and give them the rights back in order to be able to report it. Long time in past, um, our um, our old house is gone, and um, the neighbour Andrea in past, um, I was outside in front garden Andrea's house, and my mum was hearing things and. Um, Shouting, and I, I was talking to my mucker, my night neighbour. Hmm. Um, what Jamie's describing is what's happened in the past, um, which Mum also described to me. We could, we don't have to talk about it on camera if you don't want to, Jamie. That's I, that's up to you. I do, actually. You do want to talk about it. Do yeah. you want me to say a little bit about what I know about it? Please. Okay. So. Um, Jamie um, has moved since since this event happened, um, but there was quite a number of incidents where the neighbour on one side of, of uh, the property where Jamie used to live um, waited till Jamie was in the house on his own and, and tried to scare him and intimidate him, and only did it when his mum wasn't at home, which was obviously very distressing for Jamie. But she did it so much so that the neighbour on the other side of the road noticed that this was happening mm -hmm. and tried to offer his support to you. Um, I think it was quite shocking for the family and there seemed to be no shame in, in um, the way that this um, person was conducting themselves. There didn't seem to be any guilt or remorse or acknowledgement that they were doing anything wrong and it carried on, didn't it? Yeah. But the good news is that the police listened and cautioned the person and yeah. you've now moved to a, a street where you're much happier, haven't you? Yeah, um, it's more, they're threatening my sister as well. They threatened your sister? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. And what did you find, Colin, about the session and the focus group, about the discussions and the pictures? Um, what did you learn? That can talk to anybody. What you mentioned earlier is, if something did happen, would you be able to recognise it and see it? Yep. And what would you do? Report it. Report it. <laughs> and tell everybody around it. And tell everybody around it. Yeah. Yeah. Probably get on a little glimpse and do it. <laughs> yeah. But who would you tell first? Uh, my family and you guys, right. and police. Yeah, yeah, and the police. That's yeah. really important. Family first. Yeah, yeah. So, what would you like to see in the future then? Is plans to move forward? Um, a better world. You would like to see a better world, would you? From what you've heard. Yeah.